Hmm. Oh, I'm Okay. Good morning. Can you hear me, Sir Western? Western Charm? Can you hear me? Mark, Mac TV, hello. <laughs> I hope you can hear me, guys. Sorry for the background. I haven't studied on how to make a green screen. Can you hear me, guys? Can, you be, uh, can anybody? Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you, Patrick, to Western for answering. Okay. The first question is, uh, can I ask about from... Sorry. Okay, so first question is from Meizaki CO PH. Uh, hi, Doc. Can I can I ask about denture and dental implant? Of course, you can uh, can ask about denture and dental. Okay, another question is, Doc, what is the recommended denture for three molars in the lower nami pen? Okay, so Andred Savi asked if. What is the recommended then? Sure. Okay. Any, uh, no matter what the situation is, usually it is the still the gold standard is the one with the metal, the one which uh, rests upon your teeth, okay, rather than rest upon your bones. Okay. So uh, it's a little bit more expensive than the normal plastic ones, but the one with the metal or the teeth, okay, the one, uh, we have actually have a video about that. No matter what, how many teeth are missing, it, it doesn't matter, okay? Uh, as long as you still have teeth, the one that I recommended in my video is the one that is, that is the answer. Okay. Uh, there's a question if uh, by Patrick Paragas. Uh, what happens if the teeth is already worn out? There's no more crown. And can we do extraction that implant? Yes, we do that. We can extract the tooth and place implant uh, right afterwards, okay? But sometimes the complication is bigger because sometimes when you extract the tooth, there are bacteria inside, the cyst, the, uh, what do you call this? The cyst. And sometimes the, the space is bigger than the implant, so it's might, it might be loose, okay? So what we do is we place bone inside the space before we do the so it is okay to have an extraction, then place immediate implant. Okay. Uh, ito, Mark Bueno. Okay, hello, Doc. Is there a way to cure gum recession? Yes, of course, there is a way for to cure gum recession. Okay. But if the gum recession, sometimes it includes the bone recession, meaning sumasabay yung boto. It's mean the bone also goes down. Okay. Once the bone goes down, it is very difficult to increase the height of the gums. Usually, it requires surgery. The surgery is a little bit more expensive. Okay, So in order to avoid gum recession, what do we do? We do dental cleaning at least twice a year. At the same time, do not brush too hard. Okay, Brushing way too hard causes gum recession. So, uh, in order to avoid a expensive treatment on that, do not brush too hard or uh, have your cleaning every year, twice a year. Okay, there's a question here uh, from Fake Valkyrie. Doc, ano pong pwedeng gawin sa may butas na ngipin almost a month in here na po ata na butas, medyo may cavity na rin po kasi. Okay, in English... Look what we're going to do on dental cavities. Okay, you can go to the dentist and ask for a tooth filling. In Tagalog, that is tooth restoration. Okay, 
Uh, I'm sorry if I'm speaking in English. This is just an English uh, dental consultation. We can we will have a uh, Tagalog dental consultation, but this one just for our international viewers. We're just gonna do it in English. I will try my best to speak in English so I can help also our fellow men from other countries. Okay, so what do you do as a Tagalog? It's called pasta. Para sa English, it's called uh, tooth filling or tooth filling. So you can ask your dentist to have a tooth filling. If you still cannot go to your dentist, increase the fluoride content on the tooth so it will slow down the cavity. Okay, it will lessen. Uh, it will slow down the caries, the cavity from getting big. Okay, it will maintain its. It will slow down. Okay, so increase the fluoride content on your toothpaste. Okay, do not rinse after brushing. Okay, so Madam TV, uh, Doc, pwede po ba i-brace kahit crown yung two front teeth? Okay, Madam TV is asking, can I still place braces on a jacket crown? Okay, yes, of course, you can still place braces on the, the jacket crown. The bad thing about it is we have to scratch or uh, what you call etch your crown. Okay, meaning it will be rough the part where we will place the bracket. Okay, the problem with that is it, after braces, it's going to be very difficult to polish it again. There will be a rough spot on your crown after braces. But regarding on the, uh, but of course, you can still do braces even though, even if you have a dental crown. Okay, no worries. Okay, but if it's a fixed bridge, it's a little bit more tricky. We actually have a video about that. Okay, from Ruin Castillo. Doc, ask ko lang. I'm P-L-H-I-B. P-L-H-I-B. And wanted to have a dental surgery, pero takot ako kasi na P-L-H-I-B ako. Is it possible for me to undergo such surgery? Halos nasira na kasi lahat ng ngitin ko. Uh, is P-L-H-I-B a positive HIV patient? I'm not sure with the P-L. But usually, HIV patient, you have to disclose it to your dentist. You have to tell your dentist that I'm an HIV positive patient because uh, the dentist will take extra precaution when it comes to your treatment. Okay? Don't worry, it's not offensive. It's just normal protocol for the dentist to be more, to have more protocols when it comes to surgery. But the problem is when you have HIV, you have problems with your immune. immune it's an immu autoimmune system. In, what do you call this? It's a problem with your immune system. Okay, so as long as it's not yet AIDS, as much as possible, you go to the dentist. But because once your your immune system goes down, the cavities on your teeth will go so much faster. So it will eat teeth. Okay, so if you are just positive for HIV, do everything to fix your teeth while it's while your immune system is still good, okay? Fix everything, okay? Because it's gonna be very, very difficult to fix up when your HIV increases or progresses. I hope it doesn't progress, but if it does, it's gonna be more difficult, okay? I'm sorry, I don't know PLHIV. Maybe you're telling me another thing, but uh, just so you could know if you are HIV, Okay, next is, can I ask about how to deal with wrist pain for dent, uh, wrist pain for dentists? Because I feel them weak. Uh, Hadil Muhammad, are you a dentist? Okay, so dental wrist pain is the number one problem with dentists, okay? Because we always work with our hands, so, so do extraction, too much force, sometimes too much scraping, Movement. So we always practice ergonomics. Okay, you can do this one. Just imagine there's a ball. Actually, if you're using your cell phone all the time, sometimes you have wrist pain. We call this carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay, so if you have pain on that, you can just imagine there's a ball. Okay, do like this, then compress. Okay, it will release the tension. This, if you have too much cell phone, too much gaming. So you increase a ball and do like this. Make sure your uh, elbows are straight like this. With that way, you can release the 
pension. <laughs> okay. So, I hope I answered your pain. Ano? And sometimes warm compress. I usually shower with hot. And I focus the hot of my hand. So it relaxes, it relaxes the muscles. Okay. okay. I hope you answered them. Okay. Mizaki Shul, PH. How much po kaya yung dental implants today? May tiba bang price po ang dental implants? Okay, I'm sorry when it comes to price, it's very difficult for me to answer because I don't want you to judge your uh, dentist because of the price. Maybe you're telling them, hey, you're so expensive, hey, you're so cheap. It's very difficult to answer any questions about prices. So I'm sorry I'm not going to answer any questions about prices. It's still better to have a consultation with your dentist. Okay? But just to tell you, Dental implants is one of the most expensive treatment for them. Okay? So just to give you an idea, it's the mo one of the most expensive. Okay? Even expensive than dental crown. But it's it has lots of benefits. Now. Okay, Edgar Malinao. Hi po, pwede po ba mahila yung wisdom put pag nawala yung second molar? So Edgar is asking, can we pull the, the third molar to replace the second molar? Yes. You can always pull the third molar to replace the second molar. But you have to use braces, dental braces, in order to move the third molar. But usually, moving the third molar from an impaction, and you're going to place it up like this, usually it's very painful. Okay, It's one of the most painful dental movement of them all. Sometimes you have this tooth, and this one is missing already, and you're gonna put it up and start it up like that because there's so many bones that's attached to the tooth. Sometimes it's, it's painful. Okay, unlike normal braces, it's not really painful. It's more on tender, but when you're doing third molar, it's, it's very difficult. Okay. Excuse me, Evelyn Levesiva. Okay, try ko, I will try to read your IG. I don't usually use IG. I just post pictures on them. But I will try to read my DM in IG. Okay, Edgar Marino. Hi, pwede ba? Answer. Uh, Hellstorm D. I think this is a dentist. How do you overcome wetting of mirrors? Okay. Uh, wetting of mirrors. Do not, just do not place your mirror way too close to the teeth to the cavity. Let's say your hand piece is here and your mouth mirror is too close. I always do it a little farther. Okay? I don't place anything. But if you want it to avoid water, you know the spray when it comes to... But make sure you use a rubber dam when you do this. Uh, you you know the, with the one you used to waterproof your clothes, the spray like that. You can spray a little bit. So water will not touch your mouth mirror. But do not do not let it touch the patient's mouth. Okay, we don't we're not sure if it's uh, toxic to the patient. Okay, do all, do it only when you when you have rubber that. Random guy. Look, sobrang pod pod na po kasi yung bagang ko kasi lang ani na po bang ikat ng gilagit para mo buo. So random guy is asking. Look, my teeth is worn out. Seen no more crowns, just the roots. Do I have? Do the dentist have to cut? The gums remove the tooth. Okay, cutting will be always be better. Okay, if you can see, before we extract the tooth, we usually cut the gums. A bit, okay, not really cut since slice and open it up like that. No, not really like that. We slice just the periphery. So when we extract the tooth, the gums will not, the gums will not tear. Okay, hindi mapuponet. Okay, sometimes if you don't cut the gums. When you extract, sometimes the gums, uh, the gums is attached to the tooth. There is tearing, net, so it's it's not good. So it's better to cut the gums before you extract it. But uh, if you're asking if you're gonna open the gums, just extract. It. Usually no, usually no. Uh, but there are cases that we have to, but majority we don't. Um, okay, Nikki, Nikki Park. Okay, Doc, if I extract my second molar, the one before the wisdom tooth, will I look old? 
Will it cause malocclusion? Yes, of course, it will always cause malocclusion. But will not may will make you. There is a chance because every missing tooth. Okay, let's say you miss this tooth. Yeah, I, you you ask second. All right. So let's remove second molar. So if you remove the second molar and did not replace, okay, the teeth, this will go down. Okay. That will go down. And if it goes down, there will be a problem with you. So that is already mud of so, But will we will it look you but will it make you look good if you let if you did not replace the missing tooth for a long time, it will also add uh, making you look older. Okay, because the more teeth you lose, the the shorter this will be. That's why sometimes we will see old people like this. Because they don't have teeth at the back anymore. But the more teeth you have, the more longer your face will be. The more teeth you don't the it's getting shorter. You know Popeye, the sailor man? He doesn't have teeth. That's why his chin is way up. So he looks even though uh He's trying to, what you know, he's trying to love Olive. Olive is way too young for Papa. Or maybe Papa is not that, he just looks because he doesn't have teeth. Okay? Papa is the sailor. Man. You know, say, Olive is way too young. Papa, if Papa is really too he just looks <laughs> because he doesn't have teeth. Uh, next is, pwede po ba mag the uh, Seoul PH Mizaki? Pwede po, po ba mag dental implant kahit matagal na pong nabunutan mo? Okay, uh, Mizaki is asking, can I still have dental implants even though I lost my teeth long time ago? Yes, of course, we can always always have dental implants. But the problem is, the longer you wait before you have your dental implants, the more problems you will have. Hey, the more problems will you you, you will have for dental implants. Why? Because the bone is this thick. When you remove the teeth, the bone will start to shrink. Okay. The longer you wait before you have your implant, the smaller the bone is. An implant requires big bones. Okay. I have my hand here. Shit. Like this. Okay. So, implant needs bone, okay? If you don't have bone, if your bone is too thin, we have to place bone first before you can have the dental, which will be more expensive, okay? If you have to place, of course, you're going to have to pay for that bone treatment. So, so, as much as possible, do your implants as soon as possible, okay? Uh, Mark Bueno, thank you. Thank you also. Mia Duritan. Bak bakit po nagpapasta ako parating natatanggal? Apat na beses na natanggal ka, parehang nipin. Di na ako kumakain ng titigas, like chicharon. Okay rin, uh, Mia Duritan. Mia Duritan is asking, Doc, why is that whenever I have my tooth feeling, it always gets removed? If uh, four times already, I'm not eating anything hard anymore, but it's still getting removed, okay? Like, it's very difficult to answer depending on what your uh, teeth looks like, okay? Sometimes the, the, the part that is broken to the tooth is a very weak part. That's why it crashes down. Or sometimes maybe you, you already are indicated for a dental crown. Sa jacket na yung kailangan. Okay. Uh, or sometimes, I'm not saying that depends on how it was made. But depends on how the tooth feeling was made. Because like me, I, it takes me one and a half hours to do my tooth feeling because I, I do necessary protocols just to ensure that the tooth feeling will be strong and will last more, more than 12 years. I, I, I always aim for 12 years and that my tooth feeling will last. Okay, Renata Velasquez, Doc, anong tawag sa treatment na ginagawa sa mga napapangit sa vlog? Yung tinatapalan na nasirang nito. 
Okay, Renata Velasquez uh, is asking what was the procedure that I was doing in my YouTube videos. All of those are tooth feelings, okay? And the basic part is called tooth feeling. But the thing that I do is with a different principle, okay? The material is the same, but actually I, I use more materials, more complicated materials. This is what we call the biometric dentistry. We aim to make the teeth stronger. I, we, we aim to mimic, we mimic. Uh, we aim to imitate what is the original form of the tooth. Because the original form of how God made the teeth, it is the strongest way, it is the strongest form of the tooth. So that is what I do. That's why it takes a lot of time, one and a half hours, not, not just the usual past and my play. So it is still a tooth feeling, but on a higher level. Okay, so uh, uh, my dental clinic address is Strata de Leon, dental clinic, Pasi, Philippines. From the Philippines, from my international audience, from the Philippines. Uh, Nikki Park, talk how long will a composite pasta last? How can I extend its life? Okay, how, is, how long does the tooth feeling last and how can we extend the life of it? The tooth feeling lasts for what usually five to eight years. But what I do, I aim for twelve to twenty-two years. Okay, Amimetic dentistry I aim twelve to twenty-two years. Okay. Okay. So that was it. That was what we aim. Okay. Okay, Josephine Palomo. Hi, Doc. Possible po ba ang denture kung 13 teeth po ang sa Okay, the Josephine is asking what if you, if she was missing 13 teeth. Of course, denture is still possible. Denture, one teeth missing up to everything missing, denture is okay. Okay. No matter how many teeth are missing, even all of the teeth are missing, denture is still okay. Okay. Okay, Nash, MJD, I will answer that. Yeah, Nash is asking, Doc, what, what am I going to do for a teeth that is hurting? Do I do root feeling or root canal? Okay. For you guys, how do you know, how do we know if the tooth is for tooth feeling or for a root canal? Does it need tooth feeling only or does it need a root canal treatment already? As long as it is sensitive to cold and the sensitivity is just a few seconds, just let's say you drink water, cold water, it, it hurts, it became sensitive. And when the water is gone, it's okay. No more pain, no more sensitivity. Meaning you can still do tooth feeling, okay? If you drink cold water and the sensitivity lasts for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, or sometimes one hour, it's still sensitive. More or less, not really ideal for tooth feeling. Sometimes you have to go, okay? Tooth feel, it's sensitivity is the way of your teeth telling you that there is a problem. Okay, so do not ignore any sensitivity in your mouth. First time you felt sensitivity, go to the dentist. There is a problem in your teeth. Okay? In your teeth. Okay, may FB po ba kayo para mati? Yes, I have a FB. It's Dr. Archie De Leon, the dentist. Facebook page, okay? Logic, okay, my gums, my gums getting short, my teeth getting longer. What am I supposed to do? My logics, your gums is getting short, your teeth is getting longer. What do, what does that happen? It means that the bone is, okay? Uh, your teeth are not getting longer, but the bone is, the bone that is supporting your teeth is getting uh, what happens there? It is because 
there are bacteria inside their gums that kept on, let's say, in a, in a nice words, it kept on eating the bone that is holding your teeth. And when the bone goes down, the, the gum follows. It is always like that. When the bone goes down, usually the gum follows. Not, not down in the bone. No, you should bone first for that. When that happens, it will, let's say this is the bone, this is your teeth, the bone goes down. Because sometimes there are bacteria or cal calcular deposits that goes inside. Okay. Okay, so what do you do? You have your periodontist. You find a periodontal doctor, sometimes a normal dentist, and ask if she can treat the periodontal problem. That is what you call periodontal problem. P E R I dental. You can search for a dentist. Now. Okay, so I hope I answered your question. Next is from Aaron Montero. Nadadaan mo ba sa braces ang Yes, crossbite, underbite, upperbite, all of it can be fixed by braces. Okay, sometimes combination of braces and surgery. Okay, let's say your your jaw is way too forward already. Ship ready. You can always, sometimes braces cannot fix it like that. Sometimes, Braces combination with the surgery, cutting this one, bring it back, and then close it again. That is the combination of that which we call ortho surgery. Okay, um, but still in the bracket of braces, so you still need the braces. It works both ways. Uh, it's a team surgery and braces. So any any case, braces can do as long as you have teeth. Okay, braces can do, can do it. Doc, paano po matanggal yung parang dark na nakatouch sa ngipin? Hindi po ba nasisira ang ngipin? Parang may drift, may dirt lang po na hindi matanggal. Okay, DOTZ is asking, there is a black spot. It's not really, it's not a cavity, but so you ask your dentist, Usually, dental cleaning can remove that. If it is a tartar, tartar is the, the gum line. Okay, if it's in the gum line, it is usually tartar. If the, let's say this is your tooth, if the black part is going out, that is tartar, calcular deposit. It's just dirt. The dentist to use the ultrasonic scaler, we will pick that up and it's gonna get. There. If the black part is going in. Okay, it's the black part is going in, that is cavity already. So you have to do feeling if you have one. So it depends if this goes out or it goes in. Okay, if it goes in, it's for tooth feeling. Okay, if I answered your, ano, hi, pwede po bang magpapasa na tatong ito? Thank you. Bless you sa longa. Usually, I used to do Put feeling all teeth in a single visit. Okay, but I see the quality of work is not that good. So sometimes I do segments. I do this one time, one day, and sometimes the patient is already tired because it's a poor operation. The patient is already tired, so I ask for a different appointment. Because usually the patient gets a live vein, it's uncomfortable already, it might cause lock jack, uh, jaw lock. So I avoid multiple treatments patient. If it's usually on the same side, you can do through treated feeling on a single person. Okay. Uh Vic Valkyrie is asking, Doc, can I uh, can I have dentures waiting for a dental? Yes. Uh, dental dentures are usually temporary before uh, dental implant. Sometimes you, if when uh, when you do dental implant, you still have to do dentures because you have to cover the implant. Okay. This is the system of the implant. Okay, let's say this is the implant. 
first, we're gonna place first the screw, the ink. Okay? So there's your bone. Okay? The first thing that we do is we place first the ink. Okay, this is the ink. When we place the ink, Okay. We let it rest for three to six months. For three to six months, we don't place anything. Sometimes we place fixed pitch first, temporary fixed pitch. We place fixed pitch there just to cover the wound. This is just close. We wait for the bone. That's why we wait for three to six months. We wait for the bone to hug the so while waiting for the bone to grow in the ground, you can place denture, you can place fixed pitch for the ground. And when it's healed already, because if you apply this one immediately, the bone might not have the yet. So we wait. We're now gonna place this about me. <coughs> so now we place this button. Place this. Okay, now because it is strong after six months, now it's too short. But if you place this way too early, the bone will it might be un might get loose, will lose cells. Okay. Next, Roxanne Mina. Hi, Doc. Pwede po ba mag fluoride varnish? General dentist, but in the the dentist. Okay, Roxanne Mina is asking, can I have, can I have my two-year son? Have, can I, can I ask the dentist to apply fluoride varnish on a non-pedia specialist, non-pedo specialist dentist? Of course, you can still, okay? As long as you oriented your student well, uh, your child well, I say, as long as he or she behaves well. Okay? You can ask a general dentist. Usually, you need this pedia dentist, specialist kids, if uh, the behavior of the child is arrogant when it comes to the dentist. If the behavior is really shouting, denying treatment, that's the time you need a pedia dentist. But if he cooperates well, you can ask him for a dentist to apply your and varnish. But a good job. Two years ago is a good age for applying fluoride. Continue on placing fluoride until the end of time. Okay. Regina Marie. Doc, may one year na kasi ako hindi na nakabalik sa pato kasi ako may ako sa lahat. Kasi pwede po ba ang basis? May natanggal na bracket sa lower na. Okay, uh, Jenna Marie is asking, my last adjustment is already a year, and I can't have my den dental adjustment or heart adjustment. And what, what am I going to do? Is there going to be a bad problem about it? Okay, there are multiple problems when you don't ask the dentist. Okay, first, most scariest part when it comes to dental braces that is not adjusted every month, is when it has a chain. You know dental chain, the one it's, the rubber is connected to each other. That is not good, okay, if it's there, because it will keep on compressing your teeth, okay? So just imagine, it keeps on compressing the teeth, okay? It will, you will have problem. Okay, so sometimes I ask my patients to cut the chain, okay, to release the pressure because it's, you know, the continuous gum chain. Pag dikit-dikit pa rin siya, sometimes it twists the teeth, sometimes it flattens the teeth. So I ask my patient online, let's ask them to cut the chain so it won't have pressure. Next is it's dirty. Okay, so if it's dirty, it's been a year before you get adjusted. It's going to be really dirty. It's going to smell. You really have to brush well. 
Okay, so this time you, if you cannot visit your dentist, use a mouthwash. Okay, toothbrush morning and evening, mouthwash every six hours. Okay, or every uh, 12 hours or during lunch, merienda or at dinner. Okay, so keep it clean. Okay, of course there's adverse effects depending on the situation. If you don't have your teeth adjusted, but it depends. Eh? So we have we have a video about dental emergencies, so you can watch that. Okay, for Fortunata Manzano, hello from Montreal, Canada. Thank you for watching. Alejandro Manzon, I am located at Strata de Leon Dental Clinic. Pasig, Philippines. Rubino Lasco, hi po doc, ano po yung best sa nito pag lagi siyang nasisiksikan sa hulip na nagagasgas na po yung bilagit sa kakakalis ng tinga. Salamat. Paano may naalis yung tinga? How, the patient is asking, there's always food impaction when he eats. Okay? The more or less you have spaces or you have a cut. So there are two Two reasons why there's always a food that goes there. Maybe you're using a toothpick that created a hole in the teeth that's why it's getting food impaction. So avoid using toothpick because you can floss. Or sometimes there's spaces already. So the best way to fix this one is either have that have a tooth filling to close the space or do dental braces to close all the space. If you're having food impaction on multiple spaces, braces will be there. But make sure that the food impaction is not because of that. You're using toothpick or there's a big cavity there. If there's a big cavity, the tooth filling should be first before you do your braces. Okay, random guy, thank you. Hey, sorry, I cannot answer any questions about pricey. Uh, Myra De Jesus, Doc, I, uh, is, is root canal hurtful? Is it painful? Okay. There are root canal treatment. If the tooth is long dead, let's say it's been dead there for a month or two, more or less root canal treatment will not be painful anymore. But sometimes there are nerves, oh, nerves still so usually we do anesthetics taman so to remove the pain but i cannot guarantee that you're not gonna feel any pain because there is a chance a okay, one out of two out of ten chance that you will feel something when it comes to root canal treatment because root canal treatment is a treatment of the nerve okay so the one that is being treated is the nerve itself so Less nerves are sensitive, okay. So that's why we place anesthetics. Just always ask your dentist, just tell your dentist if it's still painful, please add additional anesthesia. Okay, do not do not just endure it. You can always tell your dentist, Doc, I need more anesthesia. Okay, okay, okay next. Uh, Zenith in heart. How long is tumatagal ang implant? Can it be replaced after? So, uh, Zenith is asking, how long does the implant last? Okay. Implant has a very, not really a 100% uh, kind of treatment. It fails sometimes. Sometimes it can only last for 6 months. Sometimes can, it can last for 15 to 25 years or more. So, it depends on the way you eat depends on how you clean it and it depends on your nutrition because the one holding it is your bone. Okay? Any infection that goes in, bone will loosen it away to the infection. So if your implant has infection, the bone will go away so it, your implant will get loose. So as much as possible, if you want, as much as possible, do what's the instruction. The thing. Okay. So it's it's it varies, but normally it's usually eight to twenty years. 
dental ko. Okay, so it depends talaga eh. So, Gabrieles, Doc, may space ipin ko, may pag-asa ko ba ito? Dugo ipin ko ito yung umaga pag -isin. Okay? So, Gabrieles is asking, Doc, I, I have spaces in my teeth. And sometimes it bleeds at the morning. So, did you have an extraction? I'm not sure. I haven't seen your case. I'm not sure. It's right. So many reasons, deeds, so many reasons why uh, there's spaces. But definitely there is hope. Okay? There is hope in any situation. Okay. Game of Wood City. I had a root canal on my front. A few years that tooth became black. And now I was told to put a crown to hide it. What should I do? I, I'm 20 years old. Yes, uh, root canal treatment. Okay, root canal treatment is the treatment of the pulp. It is inside the pulp. And remember, root canal treatment is removing just the nerves and the blood vessels. Blood vessels of the tooth is the source of the nutrition of the tooth. So, because it is, it has blood cells leaving uh, cells inside, when it dies, those cells are gone. When you do root canal treatment, the cells are gone. And now the tooth will be like a, what do you call this? You know in in the dead, the morgue, what does the morgue do? El Masador, what do you call this? Where it, the, the morgue removes the dead, the dead person's body events. Okay, they remove it to preserve the body because if they don't remove the organs, bacteria will build up and it's gonna smell bad. So in root canal treatment, it is the same thing. We just remove the organs that can be bacteria in order to preserve the tooth. Okay, you don't have to remove the tooth, you just remove the organs of it. So it's a dead tooth already. It's a dead tooth even after, after root canal treatment, it's a dead tooth because it no longer has blood, no longer has nutrition. Because it no longer has nutrition, it will look dead. It will still look dead. That's why it depends. But you can ask your dentist if she knows, he knows how to do bleaching, internal bleaching. We call it internal bleaching where we place whitening products inside the tooth so the black part will be gone. Okay, but we have to retouch it every year or two. We have to do that internal bleaching if you want to avoid a dental crown. Okay? So dental crown is usually the normal thing to do. But internal bleaching is the other thing. So Habib, Habib Bellis, Doc, can a pregnant person have an extraction? Okay, almost all dental treatments is safe for pregnant. As long as we're not asking the, the patient to drink antibiotics. So if your extraction is a little bit difficult, that will, uh, require, that will force you to drink antibiotics. That's the time we postpone. But if it's a normal extraction, everything's good. Mephenomic is good. Nothing will hurt your baby, so you can have your root canal treatment if you're pregnant. You can have your tooth restoration, cleaning, anything. Usually, the safest time is the second trimester because the development of the baby is finished and you're still far away from the labor. The, is the baby born, baby going out of you. So the safest is three to six months. Do your dental treatment during those times. Okay, we dig. Good evening, po doc. Pwede po ba magtakong sa pabango pasta? Then na malalim na ang butas pendasa. So we dig is asking, doc, is there a hope to have a tooth filling for a very deep? 
cavity of the tooth. So it depends if the cavity has already reached the nerve. Okay? If it has reached the nerve, no more. It cannot, cannot treat, it cannot, what do you call this? It cannot be tooth feeling anymore. You have to, to, you have to do something about the nerve. You have to do root canal treatment. But if you haven't felt that pain, the check, dentist will check if your teeth is still alive, even though the cavity is big, tooth feeling is still possible. Okay, next, John Esteban. Doc, paano po yung may konti akong underbite? Ano pong gagawin? So, John Esteban is asking, Doc, what if I have an underbite? What am I gonna do? Of course, braces is still possible. Underbite, superbite, superbite, scissor bite, bite, anything bite, bite bite, flow bite, okay? It's still possible. Okay, when it's a mountain bite, the fat bite, it is still possible to do braces. Ernesto Ambangan, Doc, hydrogen peroxide 3% solution. Viable to use as a mouth rinse or an antibacterial cleaner to your mouth. Okay, so if you're gonna do this high level of antibacterial procedures like hydrogen peroxide, drink gargle with water with salt, Okay, I advise this. You only do this one if you have infection or uh, inflammation in your mouth. Okay, if you don't have any problem in your mouth, avoid using this stuff. It's the longer you do it, it's not indicated for everyday use, the more problems you might have. Okay, instead of healing it, you might... Because always killing the bacteria is not so good. Okay, because we have normal bacteria in our mouth. If we lose a large amount of bacteria in our fungi will go in. Fungi is very hard to treat. Okay? So because good bacteria is so many, fungi cannot help. But if you remove the bacteria, fungi cannot help. So to avoid fungi, we will maintain balance. So avoid using very high level of bacteria. Do it only if there's an increased amount of bacteria, whether there's infection or inflammation. Okay. Elizabeth Heather, Look, what is the best replacement of missing teeth to do if the first and second molar have been extracted? Of course, the best is implant, dental implant. Because the dental implant, if you have an implant, you will not touch this. Okay. But if you don't have dental implant, it's either you have denture that will rely upon this too, and it comes, or if you have a fixed bridge to reduce this teeth, smaller to place your fixed bridge. So it's still the best choice is still dental implant. Because dental implant, you don't have to touch, you don't have to touch this too. It's a solo replacement, single replacement. You can place this one like nothing. But of course, it's more expensive. But after that, the insurance is good. Actually, if you have two missing teeth, metal combination to flexible, say good treatment. Very big pelen, no? Ipin na dumugan. Okay, ma, ma, very big pelen, I don't understand the question. Okay, your teeth is bleeding, then eventually it gets removed. More or less, maybe your teeth is very dirty, okay? It already has periodontitis. What do you mean by periodontitis? Periodontitis, you have a problem with the bone of your teeth. If you have a problem with the bone of your teeth, you press the bone of your teeth. If you loosen, and it's bleeding because there's gingivitis, then your teeth will be. So, what do you do?
So I I don't want to meddle with your the dentist sir. About the treatment of your dentist, maybe you should just ask your dentist. I don't want to give you an idea. Then you will think that that your dentist is doing something bad. Like problem in the future. Avoid that kind of. Na nagpasan tayo ni Cherry. Na nagpasan yung Cherry. Kita Cherry. Ayun ka. Ano yung tanong mo Cherry? Hindi ko nga sa. Ay toto. Cherry is asking, paano dok yung biglang natanggal sa harap po ng ipin? Pero may naiwan. Galing sa root canal at marupok na yung pasta. Kasi po natanggal. Okay. Cherry, if your teeth has been already removed, nabunot na siya, you can always have them. Sure. But sometimes, let's say this is the crown. This is the tooth. Sometimes this is broken down. So sometimes you, you just build it up, whatever is broken down, then you face another death. But if the the crack of your teeth is way below, that's the time you start. But if your crack is just here, you can, you can always build it up, make it high again, then face crown again. That way. But if it gets removed, you can do Maryland bridge, fixed bridge, denture. The most cheaper one of that choices is the denture or the Maryland bridge. Okay, I answered. Good evening, Doc. Madalas ko po makagat inner lips po. While eating, then magiging sinaw. Tingin ko po dahil sa hindi po tayo ng ipin. Tama po. Uh, Mary Joyce yeah, is asking, Doc, I always bite my lips accidentally. Okay? So yes, malocclusion is one should bite. So have your braces so it can go in. Some teeth is going out. It is very common for you to bite your lips. So you just have your dental basement, more or less it will improve a lot. Welcome, Renato Velasquez. Richeri, good evening, Fuedan. Edward Victoriano, don't be me. Next. Very supportive, Edward Victoriano. Hey, Samantha Tahimik. Talk what to do kapag may night grinding. What is advisable kung anti-boxism ka? So, Samantha Tahimik is asking, what to do if you have night grinding? Night grinding is where whenever you are sleeping, you're doing this. So, what to do? Patient does this. Okay, we do night guard. Okay, so, sometimes, there's so many reasons why people so many reasons, stress, inclusion, muscle strain, psychological, so many reasons. Sometimes reading is also one reason because your brain cannot, cannot get the oxygen at once. That's why it reacts. Your so, so many reasons. So it's your body's some negative trait. So what do you do is first we have to know what is the reason. Hey, to treat boxing, first you have to what is the problem. So that is a very difficult one. One of the most hardest to diagnose is dental boxing because you really don't know what's, what's the reason. So many reasons. So if the dentist cannot diagnose it. Even I sometimes cannot diagnose where it's come from. We place night guard. The night guard is something like the boxers wear. The boxers wearing whenever they have been boxed. But that kind of night guard is too hard. It's going to be 
So we use a different material, but it looks like that. So whenever you grind, so your teeth, instead of your teeth grinding, that night guard, mouth guard, will be the one receiving the force. Okay? So it will not destroy your teeth. It will protect your teeth. It will not stop the grinding, but it will protect your teeth. Okay, ja, Jordan Fruden, sana nga makadalo kayo sa ating clinic. Josephine Palom, ay, po, Josephine Palom, ah, you're asking if metal denture is still possible for a 13 missing teeth. Ah, usually not anymore. Okay, usually we do acrylic because metal may be still be heavier. Sometimes it is uh, acrylic already. Flexible. So, medyo malabo na tayo sa mga. Okay. Uh, Park Kenneth Rodeo. Look, pag nalunok pa ang yung brackets and broken wire, ano po bang magandang gawin? Tekto po ba yun? So, Park Rodeo is asking, what happens if I accidentally swallow the dental brackets, the braces, or the wire? What will happen? Okay, when you shit, your shit will be straight. <laughs> your shit will not. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, just wait for the time. You'll eventually get it. Remember, whatever your body cannot digest, like fibers, you know, whenever you eat fibers, fibers are not digested by the body. But what does your body do when it? To the fibers, it will just it will just excrete. As long as you don't, as long as your brackets doesn't go to your lungs, it is okay. It's better that it goes with it with the food. It's okay. It will the body will just release it. Just wait for it. Search it. <laughs> search, search, search it. Search shit. The bracket is there. You can see your because of the wire, <laughs> don't worry, you just get hurt. As long as you don't put it in your lungs, okay? There, okay. okay, Nikki Park, I ask my dentist if she can pull my wisdom tooth to the place, the tooth before it. Sabi niya po, di daw nila kaya ang palagasin ng Mr. Ko. Kahit daw po, pa-orto ko. Totoo po ba yan? Yes, of course, Nikki Park. Sometimes there are difficult cases. It is impossible to... Nikki Park is asking, Doc, can I... My dentist told me that I cannot... I can no longer place my wisdom tooth to be my second tooth. It is a very difficult procedure. Because sometimes... Sometimes the... So there are so many factors that exploit that. Preventing your dentist to move your wisdom to your second. It depends on the situation. It's always depends. So if the dentist told you that she cannot do it, more or less she cannot do it. Because it usually takes more skills to move the wisdom to. Okay, uh, sometimes we do we need to do surgery. Sometimes. sometimes I even do whenever I extract the second molar, I remove the third molar, then I place it there. Okay, that is possible. Okay, for those who wants to know, sometimes if you're gonna miss a tooth, let's say you're gonna extract your first molar, sometimes we do we extract the third molar that is useless. It's not useful. We remove the first molar, we extract the third molar from, and then we place it to the to the hole space that was left by the first then we do it another. that is possible so do that ah so Nikki Park is asking doc that it's not really oriented like this one it's straight yeah of course you can do third move should do <laughs> so Edward Victorino is telling me to relax. Don't worry, just one hour. Last time, kasi napapa. 
Okay. Uh, Sab is asking, Doc, pwede po ba ilagay muna yung basis ko? Tsaka na lang daw po. Bubunutin yung apat ng nipin ko sa mga susunod. Yes, depends on your dentist. Let your dentist have your treatment plan. So many ways to do it, only your dentist will know. Okay, Roque J is asking, can I extract the teeth that is mal -included? Okay, no, as much as possible, do not do that. Especially if it's canine to canine. If it's the canine, do not remove it. Okay, preserve the canine to canine. This teeth shall be preserved. No matter what happens, do not extract. Especially if there are no reason to extract it, do not extract. Wait for your budget to for, wait wait for you to have a budget in place before you just just don't because that is the most essential tip is canines. Okay? So that is very important. So do not do that anymore. Okay? Wag pwede po ba magpa-brace at ito kapag isang and Nash, MJD, may video tayo when it comes to braces. Pwede ka po magpa-brace kahit may postis. Nasta Espinosa. Wag matagal masakit po ba ang root canal? Is the treatment for root canal treatment long and and painful Sometimes it takes two weeks, sometimes it takes one day. So it depends on how severe the bacteria is inside. So the earlier, the better. Okay, ilang oras na. One hour lang tayo, guys. Ruby Hilvano, how much for food feeling? Sorry, sir. Any inquiry about uh, the price? <laughs> Medyo seryosa nga yung mga tanong. <laughs> okay, Haven Funata, good PM. Any tips po for dental students? Currently, first year dent po. Okay, Funata, what I can suggest to you is never give up. Don't rush things. Remember, you will just study for six years. And you're gonna do dentistry for how many years? The rest of your life. That is more than 40 years. So as much as possible, do not rush it. Okay? Make sure you learn from it. Sometimes we do shortcuts because we want to graduate fast. Sometimes we cheat in order just to order to pass. So do not rush it. Because once you've rushed college things, it will affect your practice days. And your Say you you graduated on time, but you cheated your way through, or you rushed things, do shortcuts, you did not did do the proper steps, you did not do the proper protocols. When it comes to your practice, you will have a harder time. So if you want to be a good dentist, maintain your ethics, maintain principles from college to to your death. That's what I do. I maintain my principles. I do not care if I'm, I'm slow. I do not care if I, if I, I don't get rich. I just want that my principles are intact. I, I can sleep at night. So that's my advice. So Edward Victoriano, po shout out. Thank you so much. They are sheer to our. Hey, doctor, I got a cut in the jaw a bit. Things got really painful. What should I do now? So, how, what is that cut? Is it a big cut? Cut, cut. I'm sorry, I don't know how to it because I don't know what's the cut. It's a big cut. It's a cut on the gums or a cut on the lips. What I can suggest is 
go to your dentist for it becomes an infection. Just know story. I'm sorry, Kumar. Okay, uh, Raynel de los Santos. Doc, kapag 4 ng ngipin, ang... pwede pa ba mabrace? Yes, pwede pa rin. Kahit ilang ngipin na sa verbosis. Top Global. Doc, kailangan po ba pumunta sa orthodontist para magpapis? Pwede na sa dentist lang. Kaibigan po kasi sa ganun complicated yung ngipin. So, Top Global, yes, of course, you can still have your dental braces. Dentist. What you're looking for is a trained, a trained practicing orthodontics. Okay? So you're searching for an orthodontist that is the specialist and practicing orthodontics that is the general dentist that is trained when it comes to braces, but not really to the high level, high degree. So don't go, you can always ask your dentist, but make sure he is trained. Some dentists are not trained. Always ask your dentist if he or she is trained for person for the doctors. Okay, Shannon Ildefonso. Good evening, Doc. Just want to ask if there is a chance to restore my upper first movement. Yes, there is a chance. You can have denture fixed. Shraste Espinosa. Doc, matagal at masakit pa magpa-RCT. Okay, after RCT, the pain will be gone, the sensitivity will be gone, but the tooth will stay there. So that is the beauty of root canal treatment. Okay, so wala nang pain, you can still use it for chewing. Sometimes the treatment is long, but the pain, sometimes not, not no pain, sometimes there's slight pain. Pamagang pangil, so it depends po kasi Lydia Santos, it depends on what's the reason why it's inflammation. So I cannot treat that. Doc, good evening. Pwede po ba sa clinic niyo magpabuli? Of course, we do extraction. Uh, Ma'am Jason Miranda, we do extraction. So just go to our clinic, have an appointment, you can do extraction. But of course, it's still better to do your dental extraction. Ay, the clinic near you. Masyado malay. The clinic is too far from you. It's fine. Okay. Uh, Nikki Park, pag maliit po bang siya, it is the best for pasta. Tulbok lang siya. Gated sa K9. Takot po ba bang na? Yes, of course. Better kung matanggal na yung bakit. We don't know. Sometimes, cavities, but on the outside, big inside. So, as much as possible, don't want that. So, have your dental treatment as soon as possible. Zirconia, I'm sorry, I cannot answer, but it is expensive. Okay. Actually, 20,000 and up. Zirconia. Okay, Junica Remoto. Doc, ilang taon po po magka-ipin ang baby? At ilang years po complete ipin? Maybe kasi two years plus ipin niya. Uh, medyo, usually, uh, baby teeth goes from six months to two years. Okay? So, six months to two years. Lapat kumpleto na siya at two years. Your baby's teeth should be completed by two years. Okay, last five questions. Robert Lastimado. Doc, pwede na ba ang pasta? Five. Daughter ko po. Medyo may butas pagang nasa. So Robert is asking, can, can he have her daughter feeling five years old? Of course, he can, she can, okay? she can have it. But make sure when it comes to the milk teeth, it's a little bit more sensitive. Okay? Little exposure on the pulp, the tooth will sometimes it dies even though there's a tooth feeling. So what we do is we do a pull pulpotomy, okay? But if it's still small, you can do your tooth filling, but it's too big, sometimes it's root canal. Because the milk teeth is very sensitive. That's why we want you to protect the children's teeth uh, as early as possible because it's expensive to treat. Okay? It's hard and expensive to treat. 
Okay, Mariano Parpio, thank you so much. Thank you so much for thinking. The last four questions, BJ Davidas. Yung dentist na sa akin ng pasta kapag pinakain ko yung nipit ko is may pasakit siya. So, BJ Davidas, more or less your teeth is already dead. So, sometimes when you're biting, if there's pain, the problem is in the Sometimes, maybe it's not dead. Sometimes it's just thick. Okay, make sure that the tooth filling is not thick. So sometimes if it's thick, just imagine, let's say your tooth filling is thick, kapal, let's say this is the thick tooth filling, look, it's elevated above the rest. When you bite, that's the only tooth that is bite, that is toxic. Other teeth is not toxic. So what will happen? It will receive all the force that's supposed to be distributed. So it will get traumatized. So that's, make sure it's not thick. If it's thick, as your dentist, trim it down. Call it premature contact. Doc, kailangan to, so uh, John Garcia is asking, do we have to have two feet? Not underestimate. Sometimes it's more outside, but it's big. As long as it's a cavity, it will continue on growing and growing inside that cavity. Okay, remember, a caries doesn't doesn't from big to small. It is small to big. So we don't know what's inside. So let's say this is the tooth. There's a small hole. It looks big from the not that big from the inside. So we don't know what's happening inside. So as long as there's cavity, good feeling. Okay, so Art Akilian, So Art Akilian is asking if 25% of the tooth is already gone and it's no longer painful. So Make sure at Kilian that it was never painful. But if if it was painful at one time, let's say it, it was painful three months ago, more or less root tooth feeling is not possible. You have to do your root canal treatment first before you do your feet. Your, your tooth feeling. Bago nyo papastahan pa root canal. Namatay na yung ipin mo dati. Okay? For Tuna Manzano, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Miss Zaza, sorry I'm late. Okay, Emeline Dicos. Hi, Doc. Kaya po ba ng general dentist? Guys, naman, bye. Hindi naman possible. Yeah. Depends po. But usually, general, I'm also a general dentist and I do otherwise. I think it's possible. Ella De La Paz, good evening, Doc. Nagkapasag ng konti past na. Pwede po ba yan mapasta? Of course, we can always replace uh, tooth filling with another tooth filling. As long as the cavity is not yet pulp, then I use the tooth filling. I will post a video eventually that I will be replacing a tooth filling with a new tooth filling. Okay, so... Shout out to Meng Baki Body Vlog from Zamboanga City. Okay, Sarabanan is why braces so expensive? Actually, if you think braces is not expensive, no matter what cost made you, a, a flagship phone is more expensive. It is, braces is not actually expensive. It is what you call worth it. Okay, let's say you buy a brace. I cell phone, let's say this is a thousand dollar cell phone. Okay. And your braces treatment is a thousand, a thousand five hundred, two thousand dollars. But this one thousand dollar phone can only last two years good or four years, but 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 if it lasts for five years or six years, it's no longer useful. Okay? So this lifespan of this is only five to six years. And that is what? $1,000. But if you fix your teeth with braces, you spend uh, $1,000 to $1,500. Okay? 
the benefit the your teeth being alive is up to the end of time meaning a thousand or two thousand dollars can have the beautiful smile until you die okay it's just not a six-year benefit it's not just a four-year benefit of four. you will have a confident smile good smile good good grinding good biting good swallowing good speech until you die so you benefit from that one thousand for 40 60 years so is that expensive for something you gain 40 to 60 years that is not expensive that is completely worth it and remember our face our smile is an investment if you can smile better if you can eat better it's, you will be more healthy you will, be, you will live this is not expensive. It is more, it's worth it. Okay? Because you're, if you're thinking way too short, not in the long run, yes, of course, it's expensive. But if you look at it, it really is not. Okay? Actually, it's a lifetime change for a thousand dollars. Get it? So for me, it's not, braces is not expensive. It is worth it. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we already reached 16 minutes. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned. We will have our Tagalog version maybe next week. Okay. Thank you so much for the questions. How no to post once a week? If you watch my vlogs, you don't have to ask it here. Um, because most, the explanation on my vlogs is better than this line. Because I have my drawings, I have my materials. So those who do please ask questions that is not included in my videos. Okay? So, sorry if I cannot answer everything. It's, it's very tiny. <laughs> so thank you so much. Evening, really, Rose. Okay, good evening. The PM, Robert Brioso. I saw the Junica remote on the Tumblr because I'm not. So is my voice not that loud? Thank you so much. Sorry if I cannot answer all the questions. Daimoza, hello. So, sorry I cannot answer, I know. Uh, uh, yung may itim sa ngipin, pasta lang yan, guys. Good feeling lang. Good feeling. Okay. So, so please watch my videos. Okay, dun sa nagtatanong, underbite ako, pwede magpa-braces. Yes, sinabi ko po sa video yan, lahat ng, kasi ng ngipin mo, mas mahirap na lang. So please watch our videos before you ask a question here para hindi tayo pa ulit. Uh, AG, may vitamins to strengthen the teeth. Uh, usually calcium. Calcium and vitamin D to strengthen the teeth. Uh, increase amount of calcium, drink your milk, sunlight, and fluoride is also good for your teeth. Sometimes there is a fluoridated milk which you can drink to strengthen Okay, Junika Remoto, hello, thank you. Thank you so much. Yan, kwento time. Not to answer questions anymore. Just tell a story. Yeah, I was exposed by a positive COVID friend because my positive COVID friend actually 
invited me to go to his place to organize a event for our organization. So I went there, and he that he did not told me that he had exposure to a positive patient. So the next morning, he told me that uh, he's positive for COVID. So I really got scared. You know what? I I'm not I'm not angry with him if ever I get positive. I cannot blame him. Because whenever you get infected, say 50-50. It's a fifty. It's a two way. It's a. It takes two to tango to get infected. So it's not just his. It's not just his fault that I get infected. It's also my fault to be infected. More or less, I did not do my social distancing. I did not wear my face mask properly, my face shield. So I, I, I quarantined myself for one week. I did not have any income. I just do YouTube. As you can see, I do. I posted three more, three more videos right now. Yes, yes, I have vaccine. My vaccine March 4. I will have my second dose tomorrow. Sinovac. So thank God I still don't have symptoms. It's been my ninth day today. So I tested yesterday. I came negative. Okay. So uh, I just want to say that if you get infected, please do not get mad at the people that has COVID. Because it's a Two, it's two way to tank before you get infected. More or less, both of you did not, did not, uh, did not follow the proper protocol. If you get infected, more or less, it's your, it's also your fault. It's because you went there, because you did not do social distancing, you did not do your part. Okay, so I don't blame the person that exposed me to COVID, but. It's the way to do it. Okay, uh, Rose Antamayo, what is the healthy gums? Call it the Genji Gel. Okay, I think it's available. Uh, Sensodol or Genji Gel, that is good for the gums. Sensodol, S E N S Dol, uh, that's for the gums, or Genji Gel, G E N G I G E. Post about it. I am an Indian. I'm from the Philippines. Thank you so much for attending. And dami natin. Umabot tayo na 67 kanina. So, thank you everybody. Next next live, we will have it Tagalog naman. Thank you for our international events. This is it. So, we go English, Tagalog, English, Tagalog. But tell me if English is okay. So, we can help a lot more people. Okay, so thank you so much. Sorry, I cannot answer any more. I'm sick. So see you next meeting. Eventually, I will make a video. I will be able to answer all your questions with a video. Thank you. Lagi na ako po si Doc Archie de Leon, the dental architect. Lagi po natin dadaan, dalawang architect. Tita. Okay.